Yeah, thank you. First, I want to congratulate Coach Fritz, uh, Tulane, magical year that they've had. We knew they were a very tough opponent, and no, no surprise to us that they kept swinging throughout the, the ebbs and flows of the game. So, really well coached football team. Uh, I know, obviously, it's a huge win for them and their program, um, and just want to offer congratulations to them. Uh, yeah, it's tough a loss as I can remember my entire career. Um, you know, had the momentum a number of times. Obviously, didn't uh, didn't do a very good job finishing there at the end. Uh, the thing we told the guys in the locker room, uh, obviously, a very very disappointed locker room. Um, you know, wins like this or, or or losses like this are always just tough to di digest, man. They really are. It's uh, I thought our guys really laid it on the line, played really really hard, um, prepared hard, really wanted to win this game, and uh, we obviously put ourselves in phenomenal and phenomenal position to get it done and then all three sides right there at the end with the the drop kickoff and and the safety and then and then obviously not getting the stops that we needed defensively down the stretch I mean all three sides contributed to it and um, you know we it, it's you know now that the season's over it's it, I don't know I've, I've rarely at the end of a year felt so like conflicted um, you know on one hand, sick about the way that we finished the season, um, particularly the fourth quarter of the last two ball games. You know, we lost three games this year. We lost two of them on the last play of the game. Um, and we lost one in the fourth quarter in the championship game where we had a chance to go to the college football playoff. And that's a, that's a, the competitor in you, the competitor in us, that's a tough pill to swallow, man. It is, it's, because those opportunities are, are not easy to get. Now, the flip side of it, is we were in those positions and those positions are very very real we're, we're in this locker room we're here at the cotton bowl in a new year's six game and again you know 12 months ago uh, i don't think many people on the outside believe that was even possible and uh so i i think getting through this first season there's a there's a ton of great momentum in this program and and today's result as sick as it is does not change that the reality is that we're here and we're not going anywhere uh, we know what we need to get better at as a program. Uh, we have to we have to finish better, uh, and we didn't we didn't get that done enough this year. We were really really close, and the line to do that, the line to finish and win these big games like we had here at the end, it's so thin, man. It's a fine line. It's 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 one play here or there, and it changes everything. And that's how close we are. But we've got to go get that as a program, and we will. And we will. Uh, we, in a lot of ways, were further ahead than in, in so many areas than I would have thought. Um, but we clearly have a lot of work to do. And we'll, we'll. Uh, this one won't be easy to get over, but we'll get we'll get over it. And uh, the journey for next season starts tomorrow. And uh, I can't wait to get up and go back to work and figure out what we've got to do as a program to, to finish better, continue to put ourselves in these opportunities that this team did a great job of this year. And then when we get there, finish them. And uh, we will get there, and we will get there sooner rather than later. Um, we're, like I said, we're not going anywhere. Tough one today, but we've got to own it as a team, and that's what we're going to do. And uh, we'll see you back in 12 months. Okay, thank you, Coach. Um, our student athletes from uh, Southern California, Justin Dietich and Malachi Blackman, let's take questions for our two students first. And then we'll keep coach and bring him back in in just a few minutes, okay? So raise your hand. We'll bring the microphone to you. I think our first question is going to be on the far side. Right there. Makai, I meant to say. I'm sorry. I did ask you that yesterday. <laughs> Go ahead with your question. You know, for for you both, just you know, like Coach said, bittersweet ending. But what you can say about what you did do this season and how you find those positives even in a tough locker room r right now. Uh, I would say it's hard to uh, be happy with what we did this year with the day we just had. So uh, I would say I just need 24 hours to get over that, and then I'll be able to tell you guys how I'm feeling about the whole year. So that's how I'm feeling. Um, being a part of the, the previous season, you know, I'm unbelievably proud of this program and the turnaround. Uh, obviously, uh, there's still uh, something something uh, that we need to do um, as players, you know, and, and bring it together uh, so we can finish these games in the fourth quarter because um, that's the difference in playing in the national championship. 
Okay, here on the front row on coach's right. Uh, Makai, there was a lot of talk this week about how it felt like the defense had taken some steps forward this last month. How frustrating was it to not see that progress on the field today? Mm, you're going to have your ups and downs. Uh, just wish we played a little better. Uh, that's all you could hope for. Okay, on the inside aisle, left side. Ryan Crutchy, LA Times. <clears throat> Justin, can you take us through those two plays on the goal line that, that ended up in the safety, especially that second one? Where where did it break down? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was sitting heavy in my gut right now. Uh, our unit didn't get it done when we needed it most, and uh, take responsibility for that. Uh, but just next time, we got we got to be more phys the more physical uh, off an, uh, opponent against them, and and get those yards that we need. Um, that's all I got. <clears throat> Okay, now here on the um, right side aisle. Uh, Justin, um, despite that, those last couple of plays, how do you feel like the line kind of played throughout despite not having Voorhees? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely proud of those guys. You know, they stepped up to the plate. Um, uh, they did really well. They made important calls, made important blocks. Um, but in games like this, it's, it's important to, to make those key blocks for all of us whenever the, the game's on the line. And so, I uh, wish we could take back some plays, but uh, I'm, overall, I'm proud of the group. <clears throat> okay, we'll bring Coach Riley back into the mix now. Next question on the left. Uh, this is either for Coach Riley or Makai. Uh, Tulane's quarterback, Michael Pratt, going to this game, said you guys could be exposed on a lot of big plays, and that seemed to happen for the defense today. Why do you guys think that is? Uh, we, we missed tackles um, in the run game. Uh, you know, he he wasn't. You know, completion percentage wasn't great. It was less than 50%, but obviously the big plays in the past game. Um, and then he had some really nice scrambles against us in some key times. Obviously, there on that, that last drive, uh, a couple of, I think, uh, a couple of fourth down scrambles that were obviously big plays. So, um, yeah, out of position a couple of times, but again, our, our tackling hurt us and against a good back. I mean, because that was a story. I mean, the their ability to run the football. Um, you know, was you know 300 yards plus rushing. I mean, that's 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 the entire game right there, and uh, we didn't do a good enough job at it, obviously. And uh, when you don't tackle good players and a good running back, uh, that's what happens. Let's go on the right here. Uh, Ava Brand, Goodyear student ambassador, Coach Riley. You mentioned how it's such a fine line between uh, having being on the other side of this game. Where do you go when you wake up tomorrow, and how do you close that fine line and take the next step for next season? Well, there's it's a honestly, it's a, it's a long answer to that. Um, you know, you, you come in here, you know, day one, and you're you're trying to, in a lot of ways, just start to teach these guys how to compete and what championship habits look like. I mean, you're starting from the complete ground floor on everything. Um, We've learned a lot of things. We've grown in a lot of ways, and that's why we're at this game and why, why we're an 11-win team and, and had, <laughs> you know, we're two plays different from being who knows where. And so, um, but there's still so much more to go to, to be in that position where you close out a conference championship game or you win a big bowl game like this or win a semifinal game or win a national championship, right? There's, it's... A lot of us in that staff room have seen it. And we, when we've won, it's been a lot of times, you know, it's been we've made just a couple of more than the other one. And I have times when we haven't won and it's been right there. And so, yeah, that's that's what's painful about it is the margins thin. And I think we've made a lot of big jumps this season to get over that hump um, is equally as challenging as just getting this thing started like we all did this year. And so it'll be a big challenge, uh, but we, we know what we're doing. We know the areas that we have to get better. We know the things that we have to address. Um, we'll spend a lot of time on it, get some clarity, let this one kind of soak in and, and, and get past it. And then we go back to work. And uh, we didn't come here, we didn't come here for a, a one year deal. We knew that wasn't when we signed up uh, to, come, to come to USC. And so uh, this is gonna, this one hurts, but also it gives complete clarity on what we need to do next. And that's uh, go back to work and keep building and developing our program. Have time for one last question here on Coach's Left on the front. Uh, Ryan Young, TrojanSports.com. Uh, Lincoln, what's your assessment for why the defense fell off so precipitously the last few games? And you've been so supportive of Alex and aligned with him for a while. Where's your confidence in him to lead that unit moving forward? Uh, I, you know, we just got done playing the game 15 minutes ago, so I'm not going to give any big picture assessments. Uh, 
we didn't play good enough today. Uh, we gave up you know, the, the big plays, or obviously, in the lack of the just not tackling to the level that we would expect, are, are very, very alarming and something that we've got to do a much better job of. But listen, I mean, you know, to play great on offense or defense or special teams, like to have any success. Like everything has got to be clicking, every parts, your, every single part of your program, and so we'll take a deep dive into every part of it uh, here over the next couple of weeks. We'll lay out a plan just like we did when we landed in LA, you know, 13 months ago, right? You take a deep dive of it, you assess what you got, and how can we make it better, and then you go to work. And this, now we just repeat the process, knowing a little bit more about this roster and a little bit more about where we're at and what we have coming back and what we're going to add. Um, you know, we, we made a pretty good jump in year one, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet against us to make another big jump next year.